This video will show you how to check your email engine mailbox connection information and collect diagnostics using the email engine diagnostic tool. This diagnostic tool is available as an attachment to this knowledge article 396803. If I scroll down the page, I will see the attachments and I will see that there's the email test utility number two. This is number two since there was another email test utility that shipped with the AR system and specifically the email engine since 1805. This utility is only available from the communities, but it does replace the older utility. So we'll click on it to download it and we'll quickly install it. So I'll show you how to install it. Once the download is complete, you can simply open up the zip file and you notice there's four files. The main file is the email testutility.jar. There's also a supporting jar file that you may or may not already have. If you already have this file with the same version, you don't need the one that's attached in the zip. There's nothing new about it. This is to support OAuth for EWS protocol. Next you have the test email.bat and the test email.sh file and you'll use one or the other depending on if you're using Windows or Linux. So for me, I already have the MSA uh, jar file since I'm using 200202. So I'm just going to take the jar file and the batch file and I'm going to copy them into my AR email directory. Now before I do that, I'm just to play it safe, I'm going to make a backup of the entire AR email directory. And you can see I have an AR email copy here. So just make a copy just because it's a prudent thing to do if you're going to replace some files. So once I've done the copy, I can simply paste the files into my AR email directory. And both of these files should exist, so you can go ahead and replace them. And that's it for the install. Now, it's possible that you do need to make a minor modification to the batch file. So if I take a quick look through the folder here, I'll notice that I have some file, let me sort by name. I notice that I have an API jar file that's build nine. So this build nine is important to me. So I need to, just to make sure that I have the right versions in being called in the batch file, I will open up the test email.bat. And in the batch file, it has the libver. And the libver is 91 build 009. Now this is exactly what I'm using, so I don't have to change anything. If I was using a different version, say 9104, with this utility, I might have to change this build number here. So that's important. If you don't change it, you'll get some interesting errors. So just make sure you check that. Now for me, since I'm using 2002 patch 2, I don't need to make any changes and I can immediately run the batch file. An easy way to do that is to open up the command prompt right here and just simply type in test email and this utility to run it in the collection mode which is going to do two things. It's going to test all your mailboxes and it's going to collect data in case you need to open up a support ticket. To do that, you use the dash CF command. When you run that, it's going to prompt you for your AR system server name. It needs to connect to AR server in order to find the mailbox configuration that you set up for your mailboxes. So I'm just going to use localhost because it happens to be on the same box. It wants a username, password, and a port number. It also wants to know if you would like to show the passwords that are stored in the configuration in clear text or if you want them hashed so that they can't be read. If you feel like you want to uh, understanding what the passwords are as part of your troubleshooting, you can go ahead and show them. But if you're going to share this output with, for example, BMC support, you may not want to show the password. So it's up to you. If you hit zero, which is the default, it will not show the passwords. You can also choose which mailboxes you want to test. If you want to test just the enabled mailboxes, you can use zero. One is for your disabled mailboxes, which you may want to test because you may have a mailbox that doesn't work, and so you disabled it, and that's the one you want to test. Or you can just use all of them. I'm going to choose two for all. And once I've done all that, it's going to start collecting information, and it's showing you on the screen what it's collecting, and then it's going to start testing each one of your mailboxes. And I have several mailboxes, and some of these mailboxes 
aren't connectable, and so it might take a little bit of time to return an error message. Once it's all done testing all my mailboxes, and in my case, four of them, it is done, and it tells you it wrote the output to a file called testutil.log. Now, if I go back to my directory here, I'll see my testutil.log. I can open it up in a text editor of my choice. You can see from the log that the first thing it's going to do is collect diagnostic information from the email engine and the AR server. So it starts with the form called AR System Service Failover Ranking Form. This is a real important form when setting up your email engine because you have to enable email engine to run on a server in your server group, even if you only have one server. Likewise, it's going to collect information from the AR System Service Failover Whiteboard form, which will help identify which server is actually active and if it's the primary server you designated, whether it actually is active. Next, it will collect information from the server group operation ranking form, and it's looking specifically for the service failover operation to make sure it's ranked and running. Next, it'll look at a couple of tables, the server group board table and the server group config table. And that's all the diagnostic information it collects from across the AR server. Then it starts testing each and every one of your mailboxes, or at least the ones you specified. In my case, I told it to test all of my mailboxes, so it's going to test all four mailboxes, and it's going to show all the configuration settings that it used, and it's going to show you how the test did. And so for each one of these, it should provide enough information for you to identify if it worked, and if it didn't work, maybe what setting that you configured is wrong such that it failed. So that's pretty much all you'll get in the log. And this log should be useful to help you solve your own issues uh, because that you should get enough information about your configurations and the test results showing what went wrong. If you are unable to solve on your own, you can send this log file to BMC support if you need to create a support ticket. So that's it for this utility. I hope this utility becomes helpful. What I would recommend is if you have an email engine issue, you download this knowledge article, test out the utility, see if it helps you solve the issue on your own, and if not, go ahead and send the log to support. Please visit the BMC Remedy and Discovery site on YouTube so that you can see other related videos, and hit the subscribe button so that you can be informed of future videos. Thank you for watching.